if the father didn't move his neck to check out the woman riding the motorcycle, he would have not been able to protect his kid. This proves checking women out saves lives. Continue, gentlemen. Reason 999. Why women live longer than men. Here we found two Batmans who don't care about woke nor B-E-T-L-G-Q-Q plus 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 whatever culture. Now we know Santa is communist. Stop! This is clearly code. Well, no, it's not code. Then who is Santa? Well, that's me. You said your name is Father Christmas. Yes, I'm known by very many names. So you are a spy. No, look, if you could just let me on my way... Tell us about your fighter plane. The sleigh? It does not appear on the radar. Well, you see, it's actually quite magical. You see the reindeer and then the... Tepros! Oh, now there's... No need for that type of language. You're setting a very bad example to little Titania and Vasily. How do you know my children's names? What are you doing in Russia? Presents. I deliver presents. Presents? For who? Well, to all the children in the world. All the children in the world? In return for what? Well, nothing. Nothing? So, you, you are, are communist. Da. Why do you think I wear red, comrade? Comrade. Two vodka, one cookies and milk. It's good to see you, Bob. Come. All my friends are toxic, all ambition is so rude. Brayden, go back in your bed. She's my sweet Sally. Yeah, she's my sweet Sally. She's my sweet Sally.
You guys can't park here. S'il te plaît, s'il te plaît, c'est bon, c'est bon, j'ai vu faire un effort, maintenant, vas-y. Con, con, quin, 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 con, quin, con. Vas-y, lance. Pas mal. Enregistre tout ça, vas-y. Ok. Hein Tu peux pas... Pas que ça à faire, je vais aller au parc d'Astin. Cinq minutes, cinq minutes, juste cinq minutes. Grosse caisse, qu'est-ce qu'il y a Con, 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 I'm really not sure what type of season I sh should I get. So I get some of that badass shit, some of that good shit, some of that chicken shit. They got some special shit here. Uh, sounds like a bunch of bullshit. Oh no shit, they got it! Oh shit, there we go. You can't truly hurt a man without involving the women in his life, his mother, sister, daughter, wife, or girlfriend. That's why most bad words target women, not to hurt them, but to hurt him. Men don't cry over their own problems. If he fails in studies, business, or even in life, he doesn't care. He'll rebuild from scratch if he has to. But when the issue involves the women he loves, that's when it hurts the most. That's when he cries. Because a man's strength and weakness both come from the women in his life. He'll sacrifice, beg, and even lose his pride for them. So when you see a man cry, beg, or sacrifice, don't judge him as weak. It's because he's protecting the people who mean the most to him. If milk gets bad, it becomes yogurt. 
Yogurt is more valuable than milk. If it gets even worse, it turns to cheese. Cheese is more valuable than both yogurt and milk, and if grape juice turns sour, it transforms into wine, which is even more expensive than grape juice. You're not bad because you made mistakes. Mistakes are the experiences that make you more valuable as a person. Christopher Columbus made a navigational error that made him discover America. Alexander Fleming's mistake led him to invent penicillin. Don't let your mistakes get you down. It is not practice that makes perfect. It is mistakes we learn from that make perfect. Just keep going. If you are not following us, you're probably never going to see us again. If you are, then congratulations. You are growing every day. What is this awesome dip? That's caviar. It's fantastic. Uh, can I get a big bowl of it? A big bowl? Yeah, like, like, like a bowl for soup, but filled with this caviar stuff. Uh, sure, I'll bring that right to your table. Here you are. Oh, thank you, dear. Here's your check. <laughs> what the hair bones? What? It's thirteen hundred dollars. It's never been over seven hundred. Way to go, Tori. <laughs> I ordered the same thing you did. Wait, wait, I see the problem. They mistakenly charged us an extra six hundred dollars for caviar. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Hi, is anything wrong? Yes. We were mistakenly charged for six hundred dollars worth of caviar. Oh, that's not a mistake. That awkward young man ordered a large bowl of caviar. Mark, you've got three peated bottles in front of you. Find the $45, find the $55, and find the $250 bottle. Boy, there's nothing there. A lot sweeter. Oop, straw. I like this one the best, <clears throat> this one second, this one third, so let's just put them in order for price point. Let's say most expensive, medium, I don't remember the numbers you gave me, 200, 55, 45. You got it. Yeah, really? No name, Johnny Walker, black, art bag 10. <sighs>
I am Magneto, master of magnetism. Who dares stand in my way? The Avengers are here to stop you. For when I throw my mighty shield... Really? I'm the master of magnetism, and you just hurled a metal frisbee at me. All right. Well, Bucky will... Oh, God, my arm! My completely metal arm! Oh, I should probably warn Tony. <laughs> wow, that guy was literally encased in metal. Wh what else you got? Uh, uh, some kind of robot who's made of metal? No, that's okay. I'll just hang out here until you need me. Oh, villain, prepare to... Oh, my freaking nards! Ha <laughs> ha! Hulk doesn't need metal to stop you, Magneto. He's pure brute strength. Oh, look at the big strong man here, getting ready to beat up an elderly Holocaust survivor. That make you feel big, huh? Hulk no comfortable attacking Holocaust survivor. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good point. You win, dude. We're out. Most impressive defeating the Avengers, but... A metal glove! Oh my god, you kept the most powerful objects in the universe attached to a metal glove? This place sucks! Interviewing? Sorry. Are you interviewing for the position? Oh, yeah. Why are you? Yeah. My competition. It would appear. A little awkward. Yeah. I hope you, um, don't get the job. Well, I hope you don't get the job. <laughs> <laughs> Have I seen you before? Do you ever go to Angeles Plaza? Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah, I think I've seen you there. I haven't seen you. You must not have been looking. Tom Hansen. Yeah. I'm back. Thank you. Sorry, um, I just left, uh, can I... Hey. You again? Yeah. I was just wondering if maybe after this, if, um, you want to get some coffee or something. I'm sorry, I'm sort of supposed to meet someone after this. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, well then I'll just, uh, I'll wait for you. Well, it might be this man's worst day ever as he gets run over by a tire. Gets tired, literally, and now gets back up, tries to move to the side of the road, making sure he doesn't have any more incidents of getting run over by a vehicle. Now we can all sit back and look at this video and think, man, what are the odds of getting hit by a tire on the freaking road? And I'd have to say the odds are pretty good because the same tire is headed in his direction. He gets tired and retired all in the same day. For the love of God, man, just stay home next time. Final destination is calling. Thank you. You made it this far. Please consider dropping a like. It'll help us reach higher up in YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more videos to come in every day. And if you have anything to say to us, the comments are open. Take care and stay strong, for you are the foundation and strength of this world. See you in our next video. Thank you. You made